Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, I thought I'd do a quick update on some of the projects I've been working on. Um, so this is just a quick show and tell. So here's my little brown caterpillar book and I'm just going to show you the bits that I've actually just added to it. Got them marked out here. So these are two new pages. Um, experiment. Uh, this one was just a white gel pen um, doodle on black cardstock so kind of come out looking a bit tribal. Uh, I did some flowers nice and simple. I did a little birdie. And some faces. I said I'd been practicing doing some faces so there's three there. quite like her. And that's the other two. And that's all that's new in that book. Um, another one that some of you might have already seen the little video for is this is the little um, folk art girl angel that I did um, following along with Kelly Donovan knitting and things channel. Um, I'll, I'll put a link below. But this is how my little angel turned out. I don't know if that's focusing or not. So I'm quite happy with the way she turned out. She's got her gold hair and she's got her little beads there and she's got silver on the wings. So quite pleased with that one. Um, and I also did the Whimsical Houses, which I'm not really happy with that one. But um, it was different. And again, and that was following along with um, Kelly uh, from her channel. So I think that's... That's all that's new on that one. And recently I did two drawings that I put up on Facebook and Instagram. Um, one was the the crying girl, the sad girl. Um, and this is on watercolours and I like I like to use my crayons, my watercolour crayons. Water soluble I should say. Um, so that's what she's done with and some watercolour pencils as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do with her at the moment, but um, I think she'll get filed away. And the other one that I did, I'll show you, was the, um, the pink lady, Pretty in Pink. And again, she's on watercolour paper with um, the crayons and just marker on her eyes. Um quite like how she turned out and I've got a project in mind for her that I'll show you in a minute uh, so that's why she's cut out because she's getting ready to go someplace and the other two that I did was these are deconstructed journal pages um, that are for a swap so I'm not going to show you the whole what's on the back of the page because I want it to be a surprise for my swap partners but this was another girl um, that I was doing with trying to um, do a sidey on face and I don't think I've quite got the hang of that yet but um, I think she looks good on this kind of wild background <laughs> I don't know what exactly what I was thinking when I was doing this background but I thought the um, the wording kind of um, said it all there <laughs> plan A kind of went ooh <laughs> That's um, that's one of those pages and this was the other one that I was trying to do side on and again this was Kelly Donovan um, knitting and things. She was doing a tutorial so this is the first girl that I did um, and I've decided to put her as well onto a deconstructed journal page so I mean when it closes up so that'll be going away in a swap so I just added her onto um, a jelly plate, jelly print background it was kind of a stone kind of colour did some stamping and added the butterflies in this bit of scrap paper I think it kind of looks a bit medieval but um, yeah I'm quite pleased with the way she turned out and back to the girl now she is what I'm calling my floating head syndrome girl so this is the background that I've done and yes it's bright <laughs> and I toned it down a bit with the, the white but that's the page that the, I kind of get it all in my camera um, and I, I daren't move the camera because it's balancing balancing on string but she is going on here 
can see us give you a better look at the background um, so I've just done some scraping of paints and stenciling I think there was actually a bit of um, homemade texture paste on here yeah I think that's what the the hearts are but I covered it all up and you can't really see it now so I've just highlighted a few of the hearts um, so this page I'm not used to doing these big big pages so this is a first for me but yeah this girl is going on here and I've got to decide what I'm going to do with her because she doesn't have a body she's got no body she ain't got no body and I don't know if I want to add this little flower to her hair here and I thought about just calling her butterfly head <laughs> Because <laughs> I couldn't decide what to do with her. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of other little bits and pieces. But I was thinking I might either do book pages or scrapbook paper and just give her like a a top or something like that here. Because um, it seems a bit strange that she's, she can't just sit like there like that. It just looks silly. Um, but I think she'll be a nice page when she's done. And I think I might frame her and put her in my bedroom because my bedroom walls are a bit darker than this colour so I think um, I think that might look quite nice but if you've got any ideas for this then please do put them in the comments down below I'd love to hear uh, and I think that's about all I think that's all my updates for the moment so I hope you enjoyed seeing them thanks very much for watching and I'll be back again soon hopefully I've got two videos to do on pocket letters that I got from friends so I'll be doing them soon thanks for watching bye